Peace, how you doing? What's up? Uh, so we got uh, Wolfrich. Yeah. Right? Spell that out for me. W-O-L-F-R-I-C-H. All right, now where did that come from? I don't know. It kind of just came from, uh, just kind of like picked a wolf as like a, a character for me. And then I kind of like mixed... a spirit animal? Or? Yeah, something like that, I guess. And then just mixed it in with my last name. So oh, okay. kind of bring a little bit of me into, and then mix it in. All right, nice. Into the bunch. <laughs> Tell me a little about your uh, style there. You know what I'm saying? This seemed pretty intricate. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a lot of line work. I, uh, there's a lot of like, like street artists throughout. I guess throughout the the scene that I that I've loved the, all the crazy intricate line work and all that kind of stuff and kind of incorporated in through my stuff throughout the years and whatnot. Um, but yeah, it's basically just weird characters. Like uh, I don't know, I hate the idea of like perfection and all that kind of stuff. So I kind of like um, bring in little imperfections everywhere, and every everyone's different. So every character is different. Everyone has their own little crazy thing that they do or have. You know what I mean? What's wrong with them? So, <laughs> now you mentioned years. How many years have you been putting into this? Um, I don't know. I kind of just started. I've, I mean, I've always been into art. I went to school for art, and then later on to graphic design, and um, kind of slowly did shows in Orlando throughout the past maybe I don't even know how long. It's gonna be five years at least. And then I've been painting with B side for the past three, and then just kind of doing my thing. I've always just. As a kid, just sketched all the time, and then just slowly got into my weird characters and stuff that I do, and then just gone from there. All right, all right. Now, so uh, tell me, so now most of your pieces, like, what size are they? Um, it all depends. I tend to paint large, just because I like to do larger pieces. Like, I don't, I don't like painting really small canvases. It's kind of, I don't know. I have a lot more fun painting big canvases, I guess. But uh, then I do every now and then I'll paint like big walls and stuff if I get the chance to. Is this still the same line style that you do? Or? Um, no, I do a lot of different oh, stuff. Okay. This is just what yeah. kick I've been on lately. Oh, Usually I have like real <laughs> vibrant, colorful stuff. Like if you check on my website, it's on there. And what your like website that. is, real quick? Cause you mentioned it. Might as well. Uh, Wolfridge.com. Yeah, nice. All right, yeah. got the .com. All right. So, yeah. Nice. Everybody ever hit you up about trying to buy wolves or anything like that? Just no, randomly? Oh, okay. Nothing like that. that. No. Is it no, that the, wolf, the wolf hasn't gone that far with it yet. So. Okay, no doubt. But um, but yeah, so I I usually do like digital illustration. Cause I'm a graphic designer and illustrator. Like that's my like, nine to five kind of gig. So that's dope. All right. So now, okay. So now going from like larger pieces. Mm -hmm. To which are most likely 2D kind of right? Yeah, usually just a canvas or to wood. To doing or, a uh, 3D cube, like pretty um, much. It was a a little different. I kind of um, had ideas in my head about how to plan it out and whatnot. But yeah, it was different. Not just having one surface, like going and I, I originally wanted everything to go together. But then once I got here, I kind of just changed my mind and just went with it. So, so did you have a pre pre set plan for what you wanted to do, or not really? I kind of that's kind of how I paint. I mean, like my nine to five is like my grind gig, and then when I do this at home, it's kind of just like to clear my mind and not have any rules or boundaries and just do my thing. Nice, nice. All right. So now, um, what influences you? Like, what are your influences? Um, I grew up skateboarding, BMX, all that kind of stuff, so I've been in like, I guess, action sports ever since I was young, and then just the art scene through that, and then graffiti art, street artists, all that kind of stuff. Okay. But then also, going back to like, uh, I don't know, I guess like that Keith Haring style, like, just yeah. bombing stuff, like, I've never really, I've never been a bomber, but I'm like, I'm in love with it, in love with the idea of just going and just freely doing whatever you want kind of thing, so... Alright, alright. Dope. So uh, what's, what's coming up next for you, Wolfrich? Um, well, I've got this show and then I've got a show coming up next month with uh, uh, industry or Kittens of the Industry, Jamie. Oh, I'm, you know all right. I'm not familiar with that. Okay, uh, what, what is that about? Uh, just, uh, I think the show, we called it Whatever Forever. So it's kind of both of our styles are kind of mend well with each other. We kind of just both go off the wall, kind of random characters. All right, so Something talk like about that. some collaboration. How important is collaboration, you know what I'm saying, uh, in your art style? I think it's huge. I've slowly tried to do more and more, um, just meeting new artists and getting to, you know, hear their stories and do different things with them and whatnot. It's it's fun to collaborate. I think. All right. And now uh, talk about the Orlando scene through your eyes. That's how long have you been in Orlando? Uh, I was born in Orlando. Oh, okay. So nice. and then a I lifer. lived, huh? Yeah, I lived in uh, 
Kissimmee St. Cloud for a little bit. Okay. And then I've been back in Orlando for like six years living okay. within the city. So now so, kind of talk about, you know, your time in the scene. What have you seen? Um, it's definitely picking up. I mean, there's a lot of really good, really good artists in the scene right now that are doing a lot of big things, a lot of big murals. Mills 50 is blowing up, which is really cool. I love driving past there and seeing all the new graffiti pieces and big street art pieces that's going on. So right. it's definitely, definitely getting bigger. I right. like to see it. I want to see more, more street art, more murals, all that kind of stuff. So. All right, cool, cool. I want to thank you, Wolfrich. Yeah, for sure. People can reach you at wolfrich.com. Yep, and then right. Instagram, at Wolfrich, all the, all the social media. Everything's medias. Wolfrich. Yeah. So, so you own yeah. Wolfrich. I don't own it, but... <laughs> Hey, That's if, you, me. if you have the Twitter and the Instagram name, you can That's basically true. say you own it. Right on. Uh, well, thank you very much, and uh, good luck and continued sure. success with everything. Thanks, man. Appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you very much.